What's up, Warrior Babes? Hey, everybody. Nikki here. Hello. And welcome to our Warrior Babe Wednesday live Q&A time together. Super excited to be here with you guys. I love hanging out with you guys on Wednesdays and coming live to do this Q&A. As you guys join in, say hey, say what's up. Let me know if you guys joined in on that booty workout on Instagram today with Madeline. Just sitting down is killing my butt right now <laughs> in a great way. Um, all right, guys, as you guys are joining in, say, hey, what's up? Let me see everybody who's joining. Hi, Shelby. Hey, Karen. Hey, Marina. Hey, Amanda. Hey, what's up? If you guys are tuning in at a later date or time, give me the hashtag replay. And let's just keep all of the questions pertaining to this live Q&A in one area in the comment thread so that Kate and I can come back and answer the Q, the 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 answer answer the questions at a later date or time. All right. Hey, girl. Hey, what's up, Tanya? What's up, Pamela? What's up, Carolyn? Hello, Rachel. What's up, babe? Heather, what's up? Finishing workout now. I'm dying. Yes. Awesome, guys. Love it. Hello, Kate. Kate's joining us too. What's up, babe? All right, you guys. Awesome. Love seeing you guys joining. And hello, Angela. So we'll get started with this live Q&A in just a few uh, minutes. But before we do that, oh, so if you guys have any questions, please make sure you start commenting them inside of the uh, thread here in the Facebook group um, or underneath this, this of this live video. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll be able to find my words tonight. I am zonked. I am exhausted. And I'm coming here and bringing you guys my energy that I've got because <laughs> I love coming here and hanging out on these on these Wednesdays with you guys. Whoop, whoop, Wednesday. Hi, Nikki. What's up, Emily? Hey, babe. Hey, Rebecca. Michelle just finished my workout too. Yes. You guys are getting ass kickings. I love it. And anybody who did join in on the uh, six-week at-home workout program, when we first released it, this is week three. So you guys have a whole new round of workouts uh, for the next two weeks. So good luck. <laughs> good luck. I've been getting so many messages from you guys saying that um, y'all are dying and you guys are sore, which is great. Emily, hey, Nikki, I'm wet myself from that booty workout. Yes, babe. Well, yeah, you went like above and beyond, Emily, like above and beyond. <laughs> and I love it. Go get her. What's up, Jennifer? All right, guys. So let's, uh, if you guys have any questions, we'll dive into a QA and a in just a few seconds. So you guys can start leaving your questions below here in this live thread. Uh, first of all, we've got a lot of warrior babes who joined us in this past week. So let's give a huge welcome to all of those new warrior babes if you guys are new um give me the wave emoji here in the underneath of this thread so i can see all the new names popping up super excited to welcome you guys into our community we you are literally you can see our community like i know i say this every week but it's it's the truth our community is just the best um no joke the support the inspiration the motivation the accountability partners which hold up let me talk about that for a second, okay? How many of you guys do not have accountability partners yet? I'm gonna wait for those comments to come through. How many of you guys do not have accountability partners yet? I suggest, I highly suggest that once this live video is done, you guys comment inside of the Facebook group and asked who wants to be my accountability partner. I have been hearing since I'm doing the onboarding calls with the new VIPs, which 30 of you guys are inside of the VIP program now. Holy moly, which is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to welcome you guys up in the VIP. But what they're telling me is that the accountability partners are even texting each other and helping one of you guys or each of you guys stay motivated during this time. So reach out, find your accountability partner. And if you're sitting on the back end saying, I don't want to find an accountability partner because that means I'm going to have to be held accountable. Well, 
guess what? That means you should find that accountability partner like yesterday. So comment inside the group, find your accountability partner after this live Q&A is done, all right? And all of you new worry babes, you will go through the blast off videos, the 14 blast off videos, one video per day for the next 14 days that you've joined us here inside of the revolution. Um, it's to help transition you into this lifestyle, help you know what your goals are, what do you want to accomplish, nail down your macros, understand the workouts, and then find your accountability partners. One of the last videos that you're going to walk towards, walk through um, in the last one of the last like three days. I highly recommend do not ignore those blast off videos. Do not ignore them in your in your emails. More than more than anything, I would highly recommend that you would save the videos and put them in a folder in your email inbox, um, and then refer back to them in a later date or time. All right. So all of you new babes, where are my new babes at? Yay! Look at these waves. Amazing. Woo! What's up, Carolyn? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Courtney. Yeah, so I see not yet. I see the one saying not yet. Carolyn, Rebecca, Leslie, babes, find the accountability partners. Yeah, get one. They are a bomb. LOI, I don't, but I hold myself accountable daily. Good, good. But the ones that cannot hold themselves accountability, accountable on a daily basis, find your babe. Find your babe. Come together during this time. Couldn't do this without my accountability partners. Beautiful. I love it, you guys. All right, so <clears throat> you want to dive into this Q&A? Let's dive into this Q&A. I don't think I want to talk about anything else beforehand. All right, Catherine, week two, feeling sore. I'm exhausted, but feeling pumped. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. And the whole exhausted thing is just your body getting used to these workouts, or if it's something that your body has never done before, your body's definitely adjusting. Um, but feeling pumped is definitely a great thing to be feeling. You know you're putting yourself through a great challenging workout and you know results are going to start showing once you stay consistent and keep showing up for yourselves. Uh, Marina is walking specifically a light to brisk walk sh stroller with my daughter unlimited or can it hurt gains? <clears throat> no, I just want to do it every single day of the week. Um, I would absolutely agree to doing a brisk walk outside <clears throat> with your daughter, of course, or, you know, if anybody, any of you guys have any animals and need to go out for a walk, absolutely. But I wouldn't recommend doing it every single day, especially when you're trying to build muscle. <clears throat> Carolyn, I'm new and carbs scare the shit out of me. Understand. Been doing low carb for so long. What easy meal ideas does anyone have? I'm curvy. So yeah, babes, if you guys want to help Carolyn out with the with some fun um, recipes that you guys all use for the curvy body type, there's also there's specific weekly updated meal plans inside of the application per body type with breakfast, lunch, snack, um, pre-workout, post-workout, dinner. There's all those kinds of recipes that are inside the app, two different kinds of recipes. Like they change Monday and Tuesday are different. Wednesday and Thursday are different. They change almost every other day. Um, so there's tons of recipes too inside of, inside of the application as well. Let me just touch base on carbs for a second. Please, I understand. Like if you guys didn't take a second to listen to 20 minutes to listen to my rally call that I just did this past weekend. It will help you reframe your mindset on the journey that you are on here inside of Warrior Babe. Um, don't let the past things that you've done or tried or failed at get in your way here inside of Warrior Babe. Yes, I am preaching different methods. Yes, I am saying that eating more food is going to get you the body that you want. I am giving you tools and resources that help thousands of women. So please do not be afraid of the carbs here inside of Warrior Babe. It's definitely a mental shift and change happens on one's accord. Um, but if you wrap yourself up in what I'm sharing, the rally calls, helping you reframe your mindset around this whole uh, mentality and this whole program that I'm sharing with you, you'll learn that carbs are beneficial for fueling your body, not just your muscles, also your hormone and metabolic process, hormonal and metabolic processes. Um, they are so important for brain function and for natural energy. Uh, 
And when you when you don't have carb sources, you're okay. Look, listen. Let's take a little, let's do a little science here for a second. You're the muscles that you guys have on your bodies. Those are natural. There's there's natural glycogen stored inside. Okay, carb carbs break down into glycogen in your body and the first spot that they go to are your muscles for recovery for fuel especially with the kind of workouts that you are doing here inside of warrior babe if you are not getting enough of that carb in your in your body then your body's going to naturally go to that glycogen for energy to help you survive and keep you surviving keep you having enough energy throughout your day all right so let carbs be your friend let food be your friend let food be your fuel here inside of warrior babe Shelby still sore from those sissy squats on Monday. I think that's what you meant to say. Yeah, those sissy squats are no joke. No joke. A lot of the, and you guys saw it, if you guys did our, our workout today with Madeline and I, there's a lot of isolation work. And what isolation work, and that's a lot of the exercises that are here inside of Warrior Babe, it helps you your, your body focus on specific muscles that help them get toned and get them defined. All right. Amanda, I cannot do cardio or hit right after my arm workouts. Is it okay to do them one is it okay to do them one day during the week and then one on the weekend? I cannot do hit cardio or hit right after my arm workouts. So is it because of timing? Or is it because you're just extremely sore? Because if you're if you're not if you can't do you can do cardio. I mean, just walking on a treadmill or walking outside or doing some hills outside. Um, if it's if that's because you're sore, I mean, suck it up and do it. <laughs> if uh, it's because of time and you got to split the two up, absolutely, you can do cardio fasted, meaning on an empty stomach. You can do it early in the day. Um, and then come do your arm workout or you can do your arm workout first. This is inside of your application. Three optimal times that you can do cardio. Or you, it's in the transform section. Click Warrior Bay Basics and then there's a video inside there about the three optimal times that you can do cardio. Um, so you can do that way, fasted in the morning on an empty stomach and then doing your uh, workout in the afternoon. Or you can do your workout in the morning, cardio in the afternoon. Or best time is workout, then cardio. And if you need to, you can, you can, if, if it's, if you're scheduled for three days a week with cardio or four days a week for cardio, it doesn't have to be on the specific days that are, that are programmed. As long as you get the four days in or three days in or however many days that you have, it's totally okay to make it work with your schedule. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Nikki, I'm an endo and I'm 40 pounds overweight. Should I do as much cardio as possible? Doing five days split. Any key advice for me? No, you don't need to do as much cardio as possible. Guys, if you guys are new, come to these calls. Listen to the calls. Listen to the things I'm teaching you inside of Warrior Babe. Reprogram your mind away from things you've done, tried, or failed at in the past and keep focusing on things I'm teaching you here inside of Warrior Babe. There's a specific schedule for you to follow where there's only three or four days of cardio that I recommend you doing. Um, I And everybody's equally the same. You just got to apply patience, time, and consistency. And that's my key advice. Patience, consistency, and enjoying your process. Don't kill yourself with doing too much cardio, especially if you have an off day and you end up eating your entire fucking cabinet. Don't beat yourself up the next day and be like, oh my God, I need to uh, go and do cardio and I can't, I won't eat as much. Those are not habits that are going to suit you moving forward. Okay. So just follow what I'm saying, babe, follow the calculators, uh, follow the workouts that are specifically for you and, and just keep applying the patience and consistency. I guarantee you that weight is going to come off if you just do that. Hey, Lynn, I've been doing Revolution since April of 2019 and have definitely seen some results. Only four to five pound weight loss, but I'm more muscular and toned. That is amazing. My progress has stalled a bit, so I'm wondering if I should start a build cycle here. There are there any guidelines on as to when to start building? So. 
since you've been a babe for so long, babe, I would probably recommend checking out the macro accelerator program. It's the next deep dive in after you've seen amazing results and you're like, okay, I want to take a deep dive and learn more about macronutrients, how to adjust, when do I need to know that I, that I need to go to a next phase? What's the things I need to look out for? Um, you're going to know exactly how to do that. You're going to know how to transition out of the phase that you're in right now and start moving up um, to the build phase and adding more calories and adding more macros um, to your overall plan on a daily basis and be able to keep moving up with your intake and not gaining any of your weight back or losing all of your progress. If anything, that's probably going to help your body uh, throw it for a plateau by giving it a little bit more food. That's one option I would recommend, checking out the Macro Accelerator program. Another option I would recommend is if you have been using the same macronutrients from 2019, you may just need a little tweak. Um, you need, may need to come up a little bit with protein, maybe down a little bit with carbs. Um, you could either adjust the macros like that, or you can add in another day of cardio and start pushing the pedal a little, little bit more um, in terms of cardio, in terms of energy expenditure inside of your workouts. Um, so those are three options I would do. First, I would add cardio. See if uh, you could do maybe 35 minutes a day, 40 minutes a day, uh, four days a week, five days a week, whatever, wherever you're at. I don't know how many days you're at. I would first add in the energy expenditure because that helps to burn more calories <clears throat> on a daily basis, which obviously will put you more in a daily deficit. Then if that doesn't work, I would adjust your macros and I would move protein up, carbs down, keep fats relatively around the same. That doesn't work. Then you need a little bit more in terms of knowing exactly what you need for this particular situation that you're in. And that you can get inside of the information inside the macro accelerator. Shelby. On week five, and I'm feeling so great. However, I am also so hungry. I'm currently sitting at 175 carbs, 130 protein, 58 fats. And I moved my snack to mid afternoon since I am still so overweight. Should I be up in my macros or do I need to stay where I am now? That is a lot of food still. That's fucking incredible. Um, babe, I would probably focus on. This may just come down to distribution. This may come down to your food choices, um, choosing more voluminous foods to keep you fuller longer. So let me talk about distribution first. You want to make sure that you're evenly equaling out as best as you possibly can those carbs over five or six meals, dividing that total number by five or six, depending on how many meals you have a day. You want to do the same across the board, protein and fats. Obviously, you want to leave out fats pre and post workout as best as you possibly can. You can have five to eight grams pre and post, but you don't want to go any higher than that. So that's one thing I would do, macro distribution. The second thing uh, that I would do is focus on more voluminous foods. Focus on making sure that your protein content is not just getting it from oatmeal, getting it from bars, getting it from protein shakes. Um, I would make sure you're getting it from lean meats or if you're vegetarian, getting it from, um, you know, the Satan or the we the options that are that are more so whole food, not processed artificial proteins like protein shakes. Um, another thing that I would recommend is adding in more vegetables. Vegetables help you feel fuller longer, as does uh, protein from lean meats or lean, so lean whole food sources. That's what I would recommend. And then the third thing that I recommend, I really hope this is helping you guys. I love when I'm mentally able to break it down easy into three simple steps like this, um, which helped with my nap before I got onto this live. So the third thing that I would recommend is drinking and make sure that you are drinking enough water. Listen, I know it's hard across the board for a lot of people, even if you were an avid water drinker, maybe you've stopped or triggered off with this quarantine. Either way, get back to focusing on your water. Reason being, let's break it down to science. The hypothalamus um, guy in your brain back here also it controls two things. It controls your thirst and it controls your hunger. So usually when you're hungry, you could also be thirsty and you need to just chug a lot of water. Um, so I would recommend chugging a lot of water. And then in 10 minutes being like asking yourself, 
Am I hungry? No, I was just thirsty. Um, so that's some key things that I would recommend. I would stay where you're at and focus on those three things that I just said. Distributing your macros better if you need to. Focusing on whole protein sources. Whole. I love how I say whole. <laughs> Focusing on whole protein sources and checking your game on your water intake. All right. Oh, I love that, Rachel. If you don't need an accountability partner, become one for somebody else. Yes, that's so true. So, so true. I love that. Okay, man, so I don't have time my lunch break. So yeah, babe, you can split it up like I said. I am better working out first thing in the a.m. I'm better working out first thing in the a.m., Tammy says. Should do pre-workout meal, then workout, then post-workout meal, and then I usually wait about an hour or so and make breakfast. You got it. You got it. Carolyn, did I miss the workout schedule somewhere? Yeah, babe. So my phone's on the charger because it's about dead. I would pull it up and show you right now. But you want to go to strengthen in your app. And then you want to click on whichever workout program you are doing, whether that's at home or, or obviously obviously done Nikki not in the gym I mean you could be using the gym workouts while you're at home because you guys do have some home gyms which <sighs> I wish I had some of your addresses because I would just show up <laughs> but anyway you click on the homer gyms and then you see the breakdown of all the workouts in front of you that weekly schedule is right up top of there and you click on that and it brings down the six day the five day the four day on those is where the cardio is recommended Okay. I love coming here and hanging out with you guys. You guys, like, I was literally, like, like dead. I'm <laughs> dead. It's been a very busy week, and uh, I took a little nap before this, but now you guys are just naturally rising my energy, and I absolutely love it. Uh, Angela, dang. Drag curl followed by hammer curl. Brutal elo fire. Just call me the, uh, what did my sister call say that one day? Crib genius. I know how to make you guys work. And uh, I had a lot of, I, so that when I was creating these at-home workouts for the six-week at-home workout program, that's all I was doing behind the computer for like a week straight workouts. And they just got better and better over time. So wait until you guys get to week five and six. Good luck. All right, Maureen, once I am consistent with my workouts, should I change from the 1.32? Yes, babe, yes. Get that up to the 1.5 calculator modifier. Your muscles are going to need the recovery. <laughs> I don't know what's up with my accents tonight. I'm just, I'm having fun right now. Um, all right. Yes, veggies most. Uh, Catherine, I put rubber bands around my cup. Oh, wow. I put rubber bands around my cup. Each one equals how many cups I have to drink. I take one off each time I finish a cup. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. There you go, guys. If you need a tracker, if you don't have like an actual gallon jug and you need to watch how many, like, you know, how many cups you're drinking, put eight rubber bands. And make sure you're filling, taking them off every time you drink it. That's awesome. Rebecca, should I eat <clears throat> to meet my macros, even if I'm not hungry, I still feel full? Yep. Yep. More consistent you are with your macros, the more that your metabolism is going to recognize what you're doing, the more <clears throat> your body is going to respond with that happening. You will not feel full in a couple of weeks when your body catches up to your metabolism kicking in. <clears throat> you'll be asking for more food. Shelby, thank you. I keep my 40 ounce water bottle at my desk and I try to eat as many veggies as I can. I'll up my water and take and see how I'm doing. Perfect. Perfect. And guys, let me just say too, <clears throat> Shelby's comment is the whole feeling hungry <clears throat> is actually a really good thing. Okay. I, I once had this in our app a long time ago, but it's, I called it embracing the fat burning process. When you're, metab when you're hungry, your metabolism is revving up. So it's utilizing, it's putting all the food to work, 
But then the greatness in between your meals, when you start feeling that hunger, your body goes into a natural burning, natural fat burning state. So it's like, I'm ready for my next meal. You've got this time in between. It's going to start, your body is revving up and your metabolism is revving up and your body is naturally kicking in to fat burning to for more energy fuel before you have your next meal. So enjoy that fat burning or enjoy that hunger feeling and that, and that fat burning process because that is what's happening. It's only when it gets to the point where you feel like you're going to chew your fucking hand off or you feel like you're getting irritable and tired and and so that that's something that you want to worry about because that's a body signal that that is telling you you really do need more food. But if you're just naturally feeling hungry, that's a beautiful thing. Embrace that. I am naturally feeling hungry every day right now. Okay, so I'm in your boat. My my carbs, everything got cut, and uh, I know what's coming. <laughs> so embrace that because that means things are really starting to wrap up. That's right. Oh, you guys remembered. I thought it was creative genius. Evil genius. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Thanks, Linda. Yes. Hilarious. Evil genius. Hashtag. <laughs> Thanks for the macro distribution, too. Yeah, babe. Absolutely. Jill, my VIP, babe. Eat, eat, eat. Trust her now. Believe her later. Yes. I love my food. Yes, Jill, you are fucking killing it in the VIP. You are doing an amazing job and you're embracing it. You know, you shared feeling a little bit uncomfortable, but you know it's part of the process because she's in the build phase. And in order to put on muscle, in order to be eating the caloric intake that Jill is eating, um, you've got to be uncomfortable. You've got to get uncomfortable. You've got to be comfortable getting uncomfortable because that's part of the building process, part of the building muscle process. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been in that build phase and I felt like an absolute elephant, but I was putting on muscle and that's what I wanted. And I knew what I could look forward to when I cut down and my body started showing the muscle that, that I put on. So and fall in love with that process. Fall in love with your entire journey. Love your body at every part of your journey. Okay. If you hate it now and you're telling yourself you hate it and you're nitpicking yourself at certain things, it's not, you're not... It, it's not going to help you in a year. You got to work on that pro that side of things now just as much as you are actually working on the physical side of building muscle and changing your body composition. You have to work on this chatter that goes on inside your head. All right. Uh, Jennifer, if I was a restricted eater eating at 13 to 1400 calories a day and my build maintenance macros are now add up to over 2000 calories, should I make that huge jump or should I jump to the macros that are around 17, 18, a few weeks, and then move up to the full macros. Yup, absolutely 150,000%. I would start at 1,700 and then bump up from there. Oh, Tanya, babe. Here we go, there's some tough love. <laughs> Nikki, I have been an inconsistent hot mess. I did the fast in March. The fasting help help and be a good and be a good for body reset. Yeah, babe. Also check yourself. You know, become aware of why you've been inconsistent. What have been your triggers lately? So that you know when you start um when you so that you know when you start getting back into the groove of things and you know that you want this you know you need to be consistent to reach the goals that you have in mind for yourself whenever those kind of triggers do come back up you're able to face them head on and know that they're not going to serve you and that you need to put them behind you and start moving forward um so yeah i would recommend this is the only time that i recommend doing a fast you guys and this stuff is inside of your application too as well um, doing a 24, 48 hour fast is only if you've went on vacation and you were a complete asshole the entire time and uh, you need a kind of a reset to get you back into the group. Obviously, nobody's on, going on vacation right now. Second one's kind of out the door. But the second one would be if you have done what Tanya has been doing and being inconsistent um, and your metabolism is probably all over the place by feeding it one thing this day and then this thing that day and then that thing this day and not eating anything one day um, then it would be highly recommended to just kind of put your body through a total reset do that fast um, how to go about doing that fast is inside the application mm -hmm. and the things that I recommend doing and how I recommend breaking it too as well so 
guys can check that out. It's um, if you go to the transform section, you click on the warrior Bay basics and then the printables at the top. There's a bunch of different links with a bunch of different information, but you'll see the fasting one there. I love the tough love. You're the best. Yeah, you're welcome, babe. Remember, remember, this is like my motto lately because I've been saying it to every single VIP that's joining us. You guys come to Warrior Babe with a goal in mind, right? To change your body composition, to build some muscle, to get leaner, to be stronger, to become a confident version of yourself. All right. And then I provide you the bait, the Kate, Madeline, like everybody who's on my team provides you the tools and the resource in order to help you achieve those goals. It is my job, Kate's job, Madeline's job, the VIP coach's jobs to call you out on your actions if they are not in alignment with the goals that you want to accomplish. It's our job to get you the fuck out of your own way. And that's the kind of standard that I hold inside the VIP. I mean, you know, I'm not with you guys here on a daily basis. Hell, I wish I could be. And believe me, if there's a camera inside of your house, me, everybody would be at their goals by now. <laughs> but, um, so just remember that. Remember that I, I, you're going to have to show up on these Q&As. You're going to share inside the group, right? So show up for yourself now. And then if you really need the extra push, then come up to the VIP when we open up the next round in a couple of weeks so that I can be on your ass every day. The coaches are on your ass every day. And shit, we watch your logs for the first 30 days. And then even after that, we still can see your logs. So. You're welcome for the tough love. It's my job, my duty. I'm not going to grocery shop for you. I'm not going to pack your meals for you. I'm not going to grass for you. That's fine, but we will call you out on your goals, on your actions if they're not in alignment. Susan, this is my first week on the program. I just did the basic macro calculator. Where do I find the calculation with multiplying? So it's a part of the calculator. So as you walk through the questions and then towards the end, you'll choose if you're sedentary, moderately active, or very active. Within those within those uh, different choices is is what they're talking about with the modifiers. So whatever you chose, I recommend that people choose moderately active. Uh, Tammy, I went to that W basics. I watched the macros on one and it said, yep, so those links that if it says it inside the videos, those links are in the printables at the top of the Warrior Babe basic section. It says WB base, WB printables, and then click on that, and there's a bunch of links underneath of there. Nice, Tammy, welcome, babe. And welcome, Susan, with you guys being your inside this program. Exciting. I highly recommend, guys, any of you guys that are new, obviously, you see how a community is. You're a part of thousands of women who are getting toned and becoming stronger versions of themselves, literally thousands of women, which is so freaking cool. Our community is so inspiring, so supportive. Um, so make sure that you guys, you know, take the time to go through the application. Take the time to click around. Like, literally, that's how I learn things. I literally sit. If I need to learn some new software or some new thing, I just click click and there's also the navigation video the navigational day two of your blast off is a navigation video and the navigation video is inside of your application too as well in the start here section take the time to go through that video it's like seven minutes long of me hanging out with you and showing you the whole tutorial of the new video and the, and the setup and everything like that so take the time to go through that stuff yes <laughs> Marine, I have so many questions, lol. I only have enough carbs in my macros to have veggies with each meal. Is it okay that my carbs are only from veggies? No, you said we should be eating protein, veggie, and carb at each meal. Yeah, nope. I would pull back a little bit on your vegetables. Um, Marine, if you're at the, I recommend then too, if it sounds like you could be at the 1.3, the sedentary um, modifier. I would go to the moderate modifier. You're gonna have a little bit more carbs in your in your everyday routine, but I would not recommend just having all of your meals be carb based. You need, um, cause that's just a lot of fiber, all right? It's not an actual whole carb source like um, like rice and oatmeal and white rice and sweet potatoes and all the other different carbs, sources, English muffins, rice cakes, that kind of stuff. And guys, anybody who is new, Look, you you don't need to be a macro genius like yesterday, 
all right? You're coming in here and you're learning a lot of good stuff. Macro, macro tracking is a skill that will serve you for the rest of your life. So take the time to learn this stuff now. Absorb all of the material that I'm giving you. There's so much inside this application. Um, so, so much. So take the time to just soak it all in. Don't rush yourself because that's just going to get you overwhelmed. That's just going to have you pull back. Okay. It's your journey and it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get to your goal. As long as you get there and get to your destination, that's all that matters. All right. Enjoy it. Love it. Learn because guys, this is hands down the best way to sustainably, realistically, and maintainably reach your goals is by tracking the macronutrients. Uh, Jennifer, I know you mentioned that it doesn't matter when your last meal is, but there's anything that we really shouldn't eat before bed. I have small meals throughout the day, but wasn't sure if it if it made a difference to have a cup of Greek yogurt before bed as opposed to something else. Not sure if it's a big deal or to have dairy, for example, or if I just heard that dairy can cause inflammation slash bloating. Um, I mean, it's different for everybody. If dairy can cause just uneasiness in the stomach and hard time digesting, but that does not matter. I have Greek yoga before I go to bed too as well with some fruit and some peanut butter. Um, that It doesn't matter. The, the only thing that I don't recommend that you do before you go to bed is having like, like if you have a cheat meal, I'd wait two hours before you went to bed. Like I wouldn't have a cheat meal and then go to bed because your insulin levels are rising, your digestion's still, still working and that's going to keep you naturally awake. But it really, if it's a small meal, it does not matter. Rebecca, I don't have my gallbladder. Eating larger meals makes my stomach upset. Absolutely. It is totally okay to have the six, eight, nine, I mean, 10, you know, make it work. Of course, staying within your macros. Absolutely. You can have that many mini meals throughout the day. 100%. I even recommend that for people who um, who have had the gastric sleeve um, or they have a kidney removed and they they can't eat that much protein. So then it's, it's strategically broken down differently. Absolutely. Totally recommend that. All right, babes, anybody else have any more questions for me? Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Pamela, I have a question. Reference your macro calculator. I put it in that I'm moderately active. I live six days a week. I live six days a week, hit four, five days a week, 30 ish levels, 30 ish minutes. However, my daily job isn't always being active on a daily shift. Should I moderate? I would still keep it at moderate, babe. Yep, I would still keep it at moderate. Negative, Captain. Negative, Christy. If you go over or under your macros one day, can you make it up the next day? Negative, negative, negative. Try and hit your macros plus or minus five across the board. And plus or minus five in protein, plus or minus five in fats, plus or minus five in um, carbs. If if you if you try and do the whole making up the next day, you you're 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 going up in calories one day and low in calories another day. You can't do that. You gotta be consistent across the board so that your body is in a deficit on a daily basis. That is why, like, I can't stand the people who say who well, I'm a healthy eater, yet they don't pay attention to how much they do eat. And I can't stand the people that say, and I'm this is totally side topic from the from that question, Christy. So I don't think I'm coming at you. I'm just saying this in general. And people who, so that you guys can take what I'm saying and saying it to other people too as well, to get them aware of this stuff. People that say that I'm just a healthy eater. Yeah, well, you could have chicken, broccoli, and rice and have a healthy breakfast, oatmeal and eggs. And you could have nothing for the rest of the day and then have dinner. That That's 700, 800, not even calories. And then you say you eat, eat healthy, but you're not eating enough in order for the goals that you've got in mind. You're not eating enough to be an actual true deficit. If you're eating way less than a deficit, you're not gonna, you're gonna be stuck in a plateau. You're not gonna see the changes you want. Your body's gonna go in the opposite direction of storing body fat, okay? 
And then the people that say, well, I don't want to track. It's so, it's so over, or it's so like uh, consuming or it's so, then you know what? Make your goals big enough. <laughs> Fall in love with your goals because tracking helps you become consciously aware of how much food you are actually eating. And if you are truly in a, you being in a deficit, the calculator puts you in an automatic deficit. So you're in a deficit on a daily basis and you've got to hit that consistently for your body to know what's going on, for your body to be in a caloric deficit on a daily basis. And the reason why, you guys, I don't have the calc the calculator doesn't tell you your calories is because everybody gets so hung up. Oh, my God, I'm eating so much food. That's why I took it out there. And I just have you focusing on macros because truly that's all that matters. All that matters is the macro distribution, the ma macro breakdown of your overall caloric intake for the goals that we have in mind for ourselves. <laughs> all right. Valerie, loving being a warrior babe. My family is like, what the fuck? My response is, I am fire and pump. So happy to be here. Yes, babe. Amazing. I'm happy to have you here. You guys naturally feel my energy. You guys inspire me on a daily basis. I'm like, I got to get my workout in. I got to make sure I'm into my macros because I need to be, you know, showing up for myself and for you guys to know that y'all can do it too. Um, Tammy, is it okay that I'm over on my protein intake for macros. No, you want to be plus or minus five in each of the categories. Plus or minus five. That's a lot of freaking wiggle room. Marina, do you have any opinion on chiropractic care? I mean, I haven't really, I haven't seen a chiropractor. In, I saw him last year and I probably still should have kept going, but I don't know. I, I got different views on that. I, I believe in massage therapy. I think that's hands down the best. I'm like dying dying for a massage. <laughs> um, I don't know. My opinion is, I don't know. I mean, I think they're great to get adjusted every once in a while, but I think more massage therapy, that would be my opinion. Courtney, what are your thoughts on condiments like Weldon Farms? I agree with Weldon Farms. I like Weldon Farms. I got Weldon Farms syrup in my cabinet right now that I put on my waffles and sometimes my eggs. Cause you know, hashtag I'm like buddy the elf put my, uh, put a uh, syrup on everything. But so you don't want to go overboard with them because you don't really truly know what's in them. And their peanut butter sucks. Don't get their peanut butter. That shit's disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, Shelby, my fitness pal will yell at you if you try to log too few calories. No way. That's so cool. I forgot to add a meal before I completed my diary for the day. And a screen popped up saying I didn't eat enough and should get more to eat. What? What? Go ahead, my fitness pal. That's great. That's amazing. Tammy, currently I have the following nutrients left over from eating today. The only meal I haven't had today is a snack. Carbs, 12. Fat, 59. Protein, negative 10. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, Tammy. We're going to let today go. What have you learned from it? Let me, let me, let me just, let me say this. This is my tough love to you, babe. Okay. And it'll help you moving forward. Were you somebody who just tracked as you went along the day today? Did you just track as you went along today? Because if that's the case, this is why you're finding yourself in this position. I recommend that you take the time, the night before, to really plan out all or meals, plan out, sit in my fitness pal, play around with it, move food around, scan your food inside your kitchen, go on a scanning spray. <laughs> All right. And put your meals in. Okay. Cause then you won't come to the end of the day like this, where you're like, oh shit, I've got 58 grams of fat. I got 12 grams of, of carbs. And now I'm over my protein. Well, damn it, Cheryl. There ain't nothing you can really do about that now. So you got to learn from today. Tomorrow's a fresh day. Take the time tonight to hang out my fitness pal. Plan all your meals out. Check out the recipes inside the app so you can get an idea of what the breakdown would look like for you and your body type. And um, yeah, that's what I would recommend. I kind of rewrite today and plan better tomorrow. Guys, don't track as you go. Don't, unless you're a genius to macros, unless you've been doing it for five, 10 years, do not track as you go. You're going to find yourself in this position. It's going to get frustrating and overwhelming, and you're going to want to give up. Don't give up because you're going to worry, babe. Worry, babe. Don't give up. Just fail forward. Fail forward. Learn 
from that mistake. Keep learning. Keep learning. Uh, on sugar-free foods. I had a discussion with a friend and was told that some sugar-free things have different sugar alternatives that can affect fat loss. was also told that these sugar alternatives can cause a plateau. I use crystallite packets or sugar-free packets to help with water intake. So if you're like a, every time you drink water, you add a crystallite packet, I wouldn't do that. If it's like one water bottle or a couple of water, like a like one a day, that's not too bad. But you want to really balance that out. I wouldn't be doing too much alternatives. Um, like I do stevia in my, in my morning coffee and then that's it. And then some days I do the Welton Farms, but I don't do it every day and I don't add in a lot of alternatives with sugars. Don't recommend it. Not just only for what your friend was saying, um, but because it's just not a healthy thing to do, to add in many alternatives with sugar. Oh, how do you, I don't know how to pronounce that name and I don't want to butcher it, but that is a beautiful name. Hi, Nikki, my first Q&A and I'm three weeks in. I've been consistently over on my protein. I should be hitting 102, but I find myself at 117, 120. Is this putting me behind in my goals? So babe, would help me understand how much do you weigh? Um, and what phase are you in? Are you in fat loss or are you in maintaining and building? Damn, you know, I spent last night trying to plan it out. Okay, I did that because I was way over carbs. I actually felt that I was doing going to be better today. I guess back to the drawing board. Um, well, I mean, if you sat down and did it last night, you, I, I mean, it clearly didn't come out to it being like the right across the board. So I would sit down again and play with it. Play with the quantities. Not every like you can you can start off your day with having no carbs and just doing like a fat and some protein, and then bringing carbs in your second meal and having carbs pre and post workout, and then maybe your last meal doesn't have any carbs. Um, you can put carbs more heavily in your in your day um, in the middle of the day, so that helps with energy and start your day off with no none. Like, and your last meal could be none too as well. Um, so that's why I would I would just play with it a little bit more. Some great fats to fit in, which nobody really mentions, is olive oil. Olive oil and avocado oil are 14 grams of fats. Those help so, so, so much to just get that fat number in there. And I saw somebody comment about cholesterol and their fats being so high. But it's not necessarily, I don't want you guys eating cheeseburgers and like shit fat food. It comes down to a lot of healthy options that are out there for you guys to be able to choose how to hit your fat numbers. 113, my goal is to be toned and could lose a few pounds. Um, I would say 110 is okay, babe, because that's right around your body weight. I wouldn't necessarily go any higher yet until you start seeing some results with your body. And then that would be where I say to raise up your protein a little bit and come down with your um, your carbs. But then that would just be an easy, like just if you're having two, two, um, two ounces of chicken, then bump it down to 1.5. If you're doing three ounces of chicken, bump it down to like 2.5. Um, same thing with ground turkey. If you're doing three, bump it down to 2.5. Yeah, Jamie, I really rely on the sample um, meals a, a lot in the beginning. Yeah, guys, check those out. Those sample inside of your application, you go to the uh, retrain, click on retrain, and then the weekly meal structure is right there based off of your body type. So we know like macro-wise where each body type sits, and then Kate goes in there and put in the weekly meal plans for you guys to help you um, see what a breakdown would look like. Uh, for your specific macros and it may be off like give or take five ten grams but you can just easily adjust that um with your in with your macronutrients by just moving around quantities like i highly recommend guys like shit i would like no joke co a lot of coaches that i've worked with don't even they just give you macro numbers they don't help you understand the, or see a distribution or breakdown of what it would look like um, that's what we're doing with the weekly meal plan. So I highly recommend checking that out um, and studying it and see how it how it looks.
All right. Yeah, Michaela, olive oil is what I use. I put it in my lunch salad with turkey. It's yummy. Yes, yes, yes. It's such an easy way to get eaten. One tablespoon, 14 grams of fat. Emily and Nikki had told us before to put our protein macros in for each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, thanks, babe. And fill in the rest of your macros with fats and carbs. This is what I usually do, just a suggestion. Yeah, so thank you, Emily. So what I also do recommend when you're playing inside of my fitness pal the night before your new day, I would put in all your protein first, your egg whites, your yogurt, your chicken, your scoops of protein, your dinner, ground beef. Let's just say, because I'm thinking burgers. I want some burgers, right? Easy. That's the list right there. And then you go back and you start adding in your carbs. Carbs, 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 carbs. Then you go in and add your fats. And yes, because some things have protein in it, you may come up a little over on your protein. So what you can easily do is then go back into your protein sources and just lower the quantity. And I'm sure you are guaranteed to hit your numbers. <laughs> all right you guys on that note i enjoyed hanging out with you guys and doing this live q and a i love coming here on wednesdays and spending the time with you making sure that all of your even especially the new babes coming in please enjoy this process soak up all of the information that's inside the app that i give out on the rally calls and mindset that i come here on the q and a's like absorb yourself as much as possible Understanding my language, understanding what I'm saying, um, and helping you so you can move forward with your results, move forward with your goals, all right? Um, so take it day by day. Learn day by day. Just don't give up on yourself. You deserve this, and I'm, and I'm telling you, Warrior Babe is the way that you are going to get the results that you want to have with your body. You just have to be patient, consistent, and fall in love with your process, all right? You're welcome, you guys. You guys are the best. Keep showing up for yourselves on a daily basis, all right? All right, you guys. I love you all. And I'll see you guys on our rally call on Sunday. Bye, everyone.